Hello everyone, welcome to the fourth class of tense masterclass on present perfect continuous tense. This is the series going on. We are discussing the tense one by one video, okay? Today we're going to discuss about the present perfect continuous tense. By the way, in the previous video we have worked on the present perfect tense. So if you haven't checked yet, I will give the link in the description box. Check from there, okay? So the present perfect continuous tense which is also called present perfect progressive tense. It is also one of the advanced tenses. In this class, I will explain you exactly what this tense is and how to use it and how to construct sentences with present perfect continuous tense. So that you can start to speak and write proper English with more confidently using this present perfect continuous tense. I hope this is gonna be very useful for you to understand the tense series step by step. Are you ready for that? So let's jump into the video. So the present perfect tense used to express a continued or ongoing action that started in the past and it is continued until now, okay? There will be a time reference such as since 1980 or 3 hours or 4 hours etc. from which the action has been started. A sense of time reference is found in the sentences of present perfect continuous tense which gives an idea that action has been continued from some time in the past till now, okay? Such time references is the identity of present perfect continuous tense. This present perfect continuous tense is a special tense in terms of time because it also connects or links both present and the past like the present perfect tense as I explained in the previous video, okay? You know, it doesn't tell us about the present time, whether it tells us about a past action which is still continuing now at the present time. In this present perfect continuous tense, since and for the both words is used before the time references in sentences. For example, if the time references is exactly known, such as 1995 or 4 o'clock, then there will be since is used before the time in sentence. But if the time references is not exactly known, such as 3 hours, 6 years, 4 days, then for is used before the time in sentences. Now, let's clear your doubts with the both examples of present perfect and the present perfect continuous tense. For example, present perfect, I have done my work. I have done my work. Let's see the present perfect continuous tense. I have been doing my work. I have been doing my work. It can be I have been doing my work for three hours. So, what's the difference between them? Can you guess? In the first sentence, if I say I have done my work, that means I have done it on the past and now I'm not doing it anymore, okay? But for the second sentence, if I say I have been doing my work, that means I started my work in the past and I'm still doing it, okay? That work is still continuing in the present time. It's not finished yet. That's the present perfect continuous tense. We are learning about it. Now let's talk about the formation of present perfect continuous tense. Now just look into the chart which is showing in the screen. I, you, we, they, they are the subject of sentence. Okay. I, you, we, they, there will be have been. Okay. And a verb plus ing. And for he, she and it, there will be has been, okay? Plus verb plus ing. Now let's talk about the structure of present perfect continuous tense. There will be three kinds of sentences, positive, negative, and interrogative. Let us talk about positive one first. Subject plus auxiliary verb like has been or have been plus main verb or present participle plus object plus time references. For example, he has been watering the plants for two hours. He has been watering the plants for two hours. Next one. I have been studying since three o'clock. I have been studying since three o'clock. 
has been watering or have been studying, they are the example of present perfect continuous tense. Now let's talk about the negative sentences. Subject plus not which is between the auxiliary verb plus main verb like present participle plus object plus time references. Okay. That means subject plus has not been or have not been plus first form of verb or base verb plus ing plus object plus time references okay for example he has not been watering the plants for two hours he has not been watering the plants for two hours next one i have not been studying since three o'clock i have not been studying since three o'clock and for the interrogative sentences starts with auxiliary verb plus subject plus auxiliary verb plus main verb like present participle plus object and plus time references like has or have plus subject plus been plus first form of verb plus ing plus object and plus time references okay for example has he been watering the plants for two hours has he been watering the plants for two hours next one have i been studying since three o'clock have I been studying since 3 o'clock? Now we're going to learn about the uses of present perfect continuous tense. Number 1. For an action which began at some time in the past and still continue. Okay. For example, they have been playing since 4 o'clock. They have been playing since 4 o'clock. Number 2. For an unfinished action. Okay. For example, we have been building a house. We have been building a house. The building is not complete. Okay. Next one. I have been walking for 10 years. I have been walking for 10 years. I am still walking here. Okay. And the third one for drawing conclusions. Okay. That means, for example, her eyes are red. She has been crying. Now let's take a quick recap with the examples of present perfect continuous tense. For positive sentences, number one, it has been raining for three days. It has been raining for three days. For negative sentence, it has not been raining for three days. It has not been raining for three days. And for interrogative sentence, that will be, has it been raining for three days? Has it been raining for three days? Okay. So that's the whole lesson of today. I hope you have learned many more things on this tense. Like how to construct sentences with present perfect continuous tense or when and how to use it in conversation or writings. Okay. Now if you want to learn more, practice a bit with this tense. Practice with explaining some examples or try to write some sentences using present perfect continuous tense on your own. That will help you to understand and you can also remember it more easily. And our next class will be on the past tense. So you are achieving it step by step. Congratulations for that. And if this video was helpful for you, then please give us a big thumbs up. And if you're new in my channel, then make sure you have subscribed this channel for all other things. Thanks for watching.